miles per hour. This pass demonstrates the extremely powerful engines of this magnificent jet. This is jet? This gives the operators a tactical advantage while flying low over hostile territory and allows for more suitable operations at airfields near heavily populated cities. This reliable airlift combines the intercontinental cargo carrying capabilities of large aircraft such as the C-5 Galaxy with the short field landing potential of the much smaller C-130 Hercules. C-17 will now maneuver for a circle over the airfield, showing its ability to fly at slow speeds and demonstrate its advanced aerodynamics in action. The aircraft uses a quadruple redundant fly-by-wire system, or winglets. These decrease aerodynamic drag and increase the fuel economy. Now to give you a better idea of the aircraft's overall size, these winglets are nearly nine feet tall. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you're wondering how big the C-17 is, the wingspan is 170 feet, the tail is over five stories tall, and fully loaded it weighs over 580,000 pounds. at both high and low speeds, making it easy to operate in any tactical situation. Now here are some interesting facts about the Globemaster III. First off, this aircraft can fly anywhere in the world non-stop using its air-to-air -air refueling capability. Air Force personnel routinely fly 24-hour missions with a single crew. The most basic crew complement required to operate a C-17 is merely two pilots and one loadmaster. The heavy-duty landing gear allows it to land on surfaces such as cement, sand, dirt, and even ice. As a result, C-17s have been in over 180 countries in every continent in the world since production began. Lastly, all current Air Force crews are trained on the... Following this low-altitude pass, you will see both massive aircraft turn on the tanker pilot's command. Now get your cameras ready to capture this air refueling formation.
aircraft break up their formation, the KC-135 is maneuvering for its landing attitude demonstration. The KC-135 pilots for Now Major Crawley will demonstrate the impressive climb capability the C-17 has as it departs the airspace.